Let's see this question asked in the IITJ examination of the year 1986 for two and half marks. The question says evaluate sine inverse root x minus cos inverse root x upon sine inverse root x plus cos inverse root x with respect to x. Now you know sine inverse theta plus cos inverse theta is equal to pi by 2 so the denominator is sorted. There is no problem with it. What about the numerator? The numerator has sine inverse root x and this if can be made in the form of sine inverse root x will be very helpful. So first of all what am I going to use? I am going to use sine inverse theta plus cos inverse theta is equal to pi by 2. The first thing. The other thing what is helpful here? Helpful part is the denominator. If my question is i, I know that sine inverse root x can be written as such the same and cos inverse root x will be pi by 2 minus sine inverse root x. So pi by 2 minus sine inverse root x. Let me repeat it again what I have seen. I have seen that here it is sine inverse root x minus cos inverse root x and cos inverse root x would be pi by 2 minus sine inverse root x. In the denominator it is pi by 2 because of the same formula that we used. And dx would vanish never, right? Before integration you cannot vanish with respect to x that you are going to integrate. Next what we see? We see that sine inverse root x, sine inverse root x becomes 2 sin inverse root x minus pi by 2 and here as you can see this is dx. In the denominator when it becomes in the numerator it becomes 2 upon pi. Now let's introduce this 2 upon pi inside. So it becomes 4 over pi sin inverse root x integration with respect to x minus 2 and 2 getting cancelled pi and pi getting cancelled minus integration of dx. I hope this makes sense. This is coming out to be your i. Now as you can see this is 4 upon pi and here it is sin inverse root x. I can write it as i1 right and here minus integration of dx can be written as i2. Now separately exclusively we will separate and find out the integral as an i1. And i2 anyways you know would come out to be x. Now that you can see I have i1. So i1 is equal to sin inverse root x dx. Let me substitute for this part of integration. I write let my x is equal to sin square theta. Then I have dx is equal to 2 sin theta d theta. And 2 sin theta d theta is not the only thing. We also have cos theta. Now see how to do it. I know that here dx has some value and I also know that x has some value. Let me see what happens for the further part of the solution. i1 is equal to, we have integration symbol, then it is sin inverse sin theta. So only theta is left. Next, what is dx? dx is equal to sin 2 theta d theta. Now see I have i late the formula. So if this is the first function this is the second. How do I integrate? First function into integration of second. So sin 2 theta integration is minus cos 2 theta by 2 minus differentiation of first into integration of second whole integration. Now what should be the answer? Minus theta by 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 by 2 cos 2 theta integration is again sin 2 theta by 2 and plus c can be written as the constant of integration. Now as you can see this is minus 1 by 2. What is theta? Theta is sin inverse root x. Multiply by cos 2 theta. What is cos 2 theta that I have to see? It is nothing but you know that cos 2 theta has the formula 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Right? So 1 minus 2. What is sin square theta? That is x. So I can substitute it with x.
right again i repeat we had theta so what is theta you know that and then it is plus 1 by 4 sin 2 theta so if this is sin 2 theta it can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta right so what is sin theta it is root x and what is cos theta cos theta is nothing but 1 minus sin square theta so under root 1 minus x square right plus constant of integration so plus c the other thing 2 upon 4 becomes 1 by 2 so it is like that so we have obtained certain things now as you know this should be put in this equation if i name this equation as 1 so i write put in 1 so i is equal to 4 upon pi minus 1 by 2 sine inverse under root x multiply by 1 minus 2x plus root x by 2 1 minus x square in under root right plus or minus minus i2 so what is i2 minus x plus c so see this should be the answer this is how we solve it this was done using integration by parts and some knowledge of substitution i hope this makes sense and it is clear in your mind